Once again, SpaceX is doing what no one has even thought of. At this point, we're just perpetually in awe because the ideas, the creation, the development, the manufacturing, all of it is constantly blowing our expectations out of the water. This time, the innovation relates to catching and safely landing rockets onto a launch pad. You'll find out why that is important as we take you through every step, from its conception to its christening to the launch and test drive. Hang tight! Hello and welcome back to Tech Space. In today's video, we'll talk about Elon Musk, SpaceX's Megazilla and its launch. Stay tuned to this video till the very end to know everything about it. Click the bell icon, it motivates us to produce more fantastic content like this and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to receive notifications about groundbreaking events as they happen. If you followed Elon's career, you'd know that he's fond of sharing technological achievements on his Twitter page and this is worthy of boasting to his 69 million followers. Since then, the tweet, which is actually a video shot by a flying drone, has garnered 115,000 likes and 13,000 retweets. Seems like everyone's excited, to say the least. From wanting to see them in action to being curious about the tiny details, everyone is looking forward to how they shape the world of space travel. Elon's pawn shop, for borrowing names from popular media, is still alive and going strong. Almost all of the products offered by Tesla and their sister corporations borrow names that are a reference to pop culture. Tesla's EV models altogether spell S3XY. We'll leave the inference to you, and this time is no different. Taking inspiration from the popular Japanese franchise, famed for its humongous size and the power to match, it's no coincidence that the project is named Mechzilla. Two very strong and powerfully designed chopstick arms will catch the returning rockets or airships and safely land them on a launch pad. This feature is useful for quick launches in succession without having to prepare for months in advance. Just place the rocket and they are launched out. For their return, the arms catch the rockets as they hover a few feet above the ground and then are safely put down without any human involvement whatsoever. Tech like this would also allow for remote launches and catching. Hence, the shock on everyone's face. It's imperative to note that the rockets and starships Mechazilla would have to catch aren't lightweight or probes that are sent out in orbit for observation. No, ma'am. They are set to catch a returning starship booster rocket. A prototype in design, the Starship rocket is placed on a booster, making it the world's tallest rocket, even taller than NASA's Saturn V rocket. But with size comes great weight, and catching or even launching one is no easy task. In fact, it is the kind of task that burns the budget while making no real advancement. Thanks to Mechazilla, that's about to change. The biggest challenge we face when it comes to making space travel viable and available on a wider scale is the cost of arranging and preparing for such trips, allocating space for a launch pad, and then launching rockets after a lengthy preparation beforehand. Now imagine, if it were as easy as placing a rocket on the launch pad and then next and then next and so on, you can see why we'd need something like the Mechazilla. Elon's lifelong dream of colonizing Mars is one step closer by all means. SpaceX is working hard towards that goal, and while this is the first announcement we've had in the year 2022, after weeks of silence, we can still expect more to follow. Most of SpaceX's resources and faculty are actually devoted to this undertaking. Stage Zero, as the undertaking is dubbed. A name was given to all the mechanisms relating to the Starship launch. These mechanisms include the infrastructure, which means space for fuel storage, launch tower, a launch pad, and the now, the Mechazilla Tower and arms. Stage Zero is located in Texas, where all the magic happens. The video of the tower comes a year after the announcement was made that SpaceX would be working on such a tower to catch and launch rockets. A year of hard work and dedication has paid off as SpaceX begins the trial stage. Just last week, engineers over the SpaceX had cause to rejoice as they tested out the mechanical arms. The test was limited to testing the lift, ability to open and close, and swing test was a success which brings the aviation giant to stage 2 of the test run, testing on actual rockets returning back. Even though no official announcement about when Mechazilla would start working has been offered, speculations are abound that it can happen as soon as February. But SpaceX is playing it safe by targeting a fully operational mechanism by 2023. 
There are some concerns about time and being shot on it. SpaceX is also simultaneously working on a contract for NASA to build a Starship rocket to be landed on the moon. The project is called Project Artemis, and we can expect to see it in action by 2025. NASA's willingness to allocate SpaceX just further speaks well for the company. All technical and cultural advancements happen because of a hurdle. Couldn't carry heavy loads, so we invented the wheel. Couldn't catch fish, so we invented the spear. Limitations are the basis of technological advancement, and while the limitations we face in space travel are a tad bit larger in scope, they are nothing special. Indeed, SpaceX is unfazed by the challenge and they are braving on ahead. As of now, we don't have any technology to catch a returning ship. All the returning vehicles make a landing in the ocean and then salvage teams move in to secure the rockets. All the material that can be recycled is separated from the ones that are of no use anymore and then the process begins again. So much wastage and so much effort expended, it's no surprise we don't have an efficient system for launching and returning ships. The Mechazilla is definitely an upgrade over the drone fleet currently in use by SpaceX to catch and enable landing. If all goes according to design and Mechazilla is indeed able to catch and place the rockets on the launch pad, it would make SpaceX the first to reuse rockets for launch as quickly as a button press. Meaning a city on Mars will no longer just be a vision, the Mechazilla would be able to help lift and catch about three rockets per day, transporting valuable cargo to the colonies. While Mechazilla has performed admirably on the smaller series of physical tests, we're yet to see them in action, for the very purpose they're designed for, and there is good reason behind that. Since the project is still in early development, it is understandable why SpaceX wouldn't want to stack a rocket on the launch pad, launch it in orbit, and see whether or not the Mechazilla can do its job. The system isn't going to catch super heavy booster rockets just yet. Aside from permissions from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, there's always the risk of a launch going bad. When launches go bad, they have a tendency of obliterating everything in its path probably understand why SpaceX wouldn't want to risk its billion-dollar investment of Stage Zero. So, for a while, it seems like booster rockets and starships are gonna keep landing in the ocean. But that doesn't mean that the giant structure is just standing, waiting, and enjoying the weather. It's being put under constant pressure tests. One such test, which can be called the simulation, happened on January 10th. Before beginning the simulation, a large bar of steel, as heavy as booster rockets are, was installed between the arms. Once the arms carry the steel bar up to the top, they performed similar tests about opening, closing, shifting, and moving up and down. In short, all the actions arms would need to perform while carrying a booster rocket. The towers and the arms completed the weight simulation without a hitch. In the future, we can expect more weight to be added to those simulations, further test the capacity of the arms. They'd need to test weight between the range of 100 to 200 tons, which was what a booster and rocket weigh when stacked together. The Mechazilla arms are set to cut down the weight on reusability of rockets by the days, hoping that reflight will be possible in under an hour, and SpaceX is set to attempt a full test drive sometime this year. Given that it's just January and the arms are already acing the weight simulations, you can be sure to expect a launch test in the coming months. So what do you think, guys? Please do share your thoughts in the comment section. And while everyone seems excited, we share their enthusiasm. This is the kind of groundbreaking tech that will put our people on Mars and make us an interplanetary species, a dream that's now not only Elon's, but the whole world. NASA's willingness to work with privately owned SpaceX proves that humans are willing to work as one when it comes to colonizing Mars. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you get a notification and do not miss our next informative video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.